producer Frank Lowy's almost 57-year reign as a shopping center Zara is about to come to an end after Europe's largest listed commercial property company agreed to buy his Westfield Corp in a $32.8 billion deal. The boards of Westfield and Unibail Road Amco have unanimously recommended the deal. The transaction announced today is the culmination of the strategic journey Westfield has been on since its 2014 restructure, Sir Frank said, speaking via teleconference from the Milan Room in Westfield headquarters in London. Sir Frank said this was the second and most important day in Westfield's history. It's inescapable that this is the second most important day in Westfield history. The most important day was in September 1960 when Westfield was born. He said, most know the history of Westfield's humble beginnings of a humble store in Blacktown, which is still there. Who would have thought that 57 years later I'd be sitting in snowy London talking to you on Sydney? Like this. Certainly not me. I was just 29 years old and I did not know much believe me. And not sure I know much more now. Sir Frank's decision to stand back marks the closing stages of one of the most successful careers in Australian business, along with then-business partner John Saunders. He built up their Westfield Shopping Centre empire from scratch in Australia in the 1960s, before expanding to the US, New Zealand and the UK. The empire was split in 2014, with the international business continuing to be run by Stephen and Peter Lowy. In the Australian and New Zealand malls spun off into the separately listed centre group. Sir Frank cut all ties with Centre last year but remained at the helm of Westfield Corp. Stephen Lowy is still on the Centre board and the family retains a 4% stake in the local shopping centre operator, and just under 10% of the international business. The Lowy family has agreed not to sell its interest in Westfield while the deal is underway, and to vote in its favour provided the board doesn't recommend a superior proposal and an Independent expert finds it is in the best interests of Westfield security holders. The family said it was committed to the success of the group and planned to keep a substantial investment in it. Unibail Road Amco's track record makes it the natural home for the legacy of Westfield's brand and business. Sir Frank said, We look forward to seeing Westfield continue to grow as part of the world's premier owner of flagship shopping destinations. Quote, Westfield security holders will receive cash and shares in Unibail Road Amco, valuing Westfield at $7.55-$10.01 per security, a 17.8% premium to Westfield's closing price on December Monday. Existing Unibail Road Amco shareholders will emerge with about 72% of the combined group and Westfield security holders will hold about 28%. Its securities will be listed on the ASX, as well as in Amsterdam and Paris. The deal, which is expected to close in the first half of 2018, is subject to court and shareholder approvals. Westfield will spin off 90% of its retail technology platform one market into a new ASX-listed entity before the deal is completed. The combined group will hold the remaining 10% of one market, which will be chaired by Stephen Lowy, with Don Kingsborough as chief executive. One market has been developed within Westfield and it has always been envisaged that it would be separated at the appropriate time. The statement said, the takeover of Westfield would continue the recent spate of corporate activity among U.S. real estate investment trusts.